welcome 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 you all to tony talks and this talk is on something that i see uh frequently with clients um so i want to really start dealing with some things that i see about um just see that are going on and i really look at a lot of times what my clients are going through and then what is going on in social media and then sometimes just what people aren't saying that I am seeing. So one thing that I see a lot within my clients um, is a lack of trust. A lot of people and even in social media are saying um, that they don't trust. So why don't you trust, right? So I get it, like it's a lot of stuff that goes on in the world, but what part or role do you play in that lack of trust? So some things like, you know, we may have experienced as children where we didn't have any say so, but as you get older, how do you build trust? How do you develop trust? Um, and do you want to change just being by yourself? Because what happens when a lot of people don't trust what I see a lot of times in therapy and my own personal experience prior to me doing my healing work was isolation. And so isolation is like, you really wanna pay attention to isolation. Being alone has its space and its time, right? There are times when you need to be alone. You may be working on something and you need to take that time to spend time alone, but that's different than isolation. Isolation is purposely keeping yourself away from others. A lot of times it is because of lack of trust. And in my case, you know, before I went through my healing work, that was one of my biggest things. Like I isolated because just a fear of trusting people. So one thing about trust is you have to learn to trust yourself. A lot of times people who don't trust other people don't trust themselves. Okay. So you have to learn how to believe in yourself and then trust in yourself that you make good decisions that and if you can make good decisions then you can choose good friends okay so today i read something about authenticity right and friendships and so a lot of people say that they have friendships but they're not truly authentic relationships where you are able to share um your authentic self to me and i'm talking about myself that's what I see as a friendship where I can be truly authentic in that friendship. Um, I'm able to share my ups and my downs. I'm not just sharing when something is going well. I am able to share when I you know, have those down spaces. I'm able to ask for help. I'm able to get prayer. I'm able to, if it's something that I stand in need of um, and my friend has it, my friend will give it to me or be able to be there for me. Um, so friendships, right? And authenticity and trust, all of those play a hand, a part in each other. So, back to the trust issues, right? A lot of people have trust issues. So you gotta really sit down and look at this thing. Why do I have trust issues? And as I said, a lot of times, a lot of people have trust issues because it may go back to their parents, right? Or it may go back to somebody violating them as a child, right? And so you didn't develop that space you know because in your childhood it was violated you never felt safe to be able to um, trust someone else so therapy is a good place because it is a safe space that's what I find with a lot of my clients they may not have anybody that they can go to but I make sure 
I make therapy a safe space. When I show up on the screen, when you show up on the screen, I'm not judging you. And a lot of people are afraid to be judged by somebody else, even friends, right? So sometimes they won't share and they're not their authentic self with their friends. They show up fake, right? To me, like why even say that you're friends? If I can't be real with my friends, my friend then are you really a friend and if my friend can't be that with me i don't want that i just learn for me i want to be in spaces and i choose i have decided to only be friends with those of which are willing to give me the same authenticity that i am with them so you got to look at that right are you willing ask yourself this question are you willing to be authentic you can't ask for something from someone else that you're not willing to give and so often that's what's going on people are expecting other people to show up their authentic self but you're not showing up authentic i've seen it <laughs> i've seen it in therapy right and i get on my clients all the time you want this person to do xyz but you're not willing to do xyz why is that fair it's not fair. If you're not willing to do it, then why are you asking for somebody else to do what you're wanting and desiring? It's a risk, right? It's a chance. Friendship is a chance, but how else do you see if it really is friendship if you aren't willing to put yourself out there? So that's why a lot of people choose. A lot of people make a decision not to be in friendships or relationships because you know they're not willing to do the same thing that they want somebody else to do here's the thing we are not islands an island is isolated by itself right so an island is a piece of land that can sustain that it can be by itself we as humans need humans even if it's not in a intimate relationship, we need some type of interaction with other humans, right? So if you're not going to make friendships, I suggest strongly that you find you a therapist who you can really trust, who provides a safe space for you to be you, for you to just show up your authentic self, because it's a good space for you to learn how to be authentic um how to be real because if you showing up um inauthentic with your therapist there's something wrong because that is the space where you should be able to be your authentic self and if you feel like you have a therapist and you can't do that i always suggest talk to your therapist right let your therapist know even if you choose to go somewhere else let your therapist know because one that'll help them to see themselves too maybe they don't see that i just read a post yesterday i'm in a therapy a clinician's um group and uh the clinician the therapist said that her client said that she didn't feel um really safe with her right and so maybe she didn't know right and so if you just leave without sharing that it's not really your responsibility to share that but if you if you do you know share that that would help her to be able to look within herself to see oh, okay this is what made my space um you know not so safe or not feel like they can be their authentic self so same thing in friendships right like if you feel like your friend is your friend is not being very friendly or is doing certain things as friends you should be able to have those conversations right that builds trust i tell you i have a bff you know and i am so grateful for her because we both can show up ourselves i don't have to pretend i don't have to act like um i'm somebody i'm not and it is so refreshing right it builds trust that is one thing that helps our friendship 
our friendship to grow. Um, and we're having like real talk. It's not like just surface level talk. We get deep, but we both are clinicians. I'm a therapist. She's a counselor, right? So we have deep conversations. And I love that because it helps us both to grow individually and then separately. So again, today's talk was on trust and trust building, right? One way you build trust is by really being your authentic self. And so that is a risk, right? Um, if you're being authentic with somebody and maybe that person takes you the wrong way or you feel like you're not understood, it can kind of make you not want to share. But I say to your own self, be true. Be true to yourself. If that's how you really are, maybe that other person is not the person who can handle you being true or they don't know how to be authentic, right? But show up yourself. For me, moving forward in any friendships, I have to have an authentic relationship. I have to have other people around me who are real and genuine and not just surface level, but willing to go deeper, okay? So we talked about trust. We talked about isolation. Really think about that isolation piece because a lot of times isolation causes you to stay in your thoughts, right? The other thing about friendship I love is that I'm able to bounce my ideas off with her and even with my husband, right? It gives you a space to really start processing some of your stuff. Um, also, you know, a therapeutic relationship gives you a place and a space to be, um, to put your stuff out there and really just be able to, I just had a client and she said the thing that she loves about therapy is it's a space for her to be able to process. Some people are processors out loud. Some people can write. Everybody is different, right? But I'm grateful that I provide that space of process. For her, that's the reason she comes to therapy, because it's easier for her to process with someone where the relationship is safe, um, the the environment is safe, um, and so you know she loves coming to therapy for that reason. Okay, so if you're isolating, just really look at the reasons why. Isolation typically comes from lack of trust, as I'm saying, right? And if you have a lack of trust, why? What is going on? Those are the things that you need to start processing in the therapy room. And even with your friend, uh, you know, I have that relationship where I can talk about anything with my friend. Um, everybody don't have that. So if that's what you desire, start with therapy, right? It's hard being isolated, not having anyone, because a lot of times you get caught in negative thinking. You get caught in your own thinking, which you're thinking the world is out to get you. And most times that's not the case. It's stories we have told ourselves. I'm speaking from when I used to isolate myself. I used to tell myself all kinds of stories, right? And so just if you're isolating, think about is that where you want to stay, right? Do you want some support? If you want support and you want to, you desire to have some friends, that's the first step, right? And then becoming aware of why are you this way? Processing in therapy, getting yourself out of isolation. Maybe you have to start going out more and you may go out by yourself initially, right? But keep on showing up in spaces and places and eventually you will meet somebody similar maybe different than you but similar maybe in thought and you all can connect okay but be open to something different for me you know I isolated and didn't make friends because I felt like I wasn't a good friend but how else do you learn how to be a good friend but to start working on those areas in friendship that you need to work on and so I'm grateful to say 
that. I have a great friend. I have a great husband where I can process my stuff with, you know, and be me. All right. So trust, isolation, authenticity, and therapy. All of those can be dealt with within the therapy room. And then that can help prepare you to have some great friendships. All right. So I might have been all over the place, but you got the picture. All right. So this was Tip Tuesday with Tony Talks. And I will see you either next Monday or next Tuesday. If you haven't by now, like and subscribe and share this out with someone. You may know somebody who isolates, right? Um, those who isolate a lot of times don't want to isolate, but they don't see another way. All right. So share this out with them and let them know it is possible to meet some great friends, right? Maybe it's just starting with yourself, working on yourself first. And how can I be a better person, a, a one who trusts more? How can I work on trust with myself? How can I build, um, you know, build a space where I know that um, I can be a friend. I'm going to take my guards down and allow somebody in. There's so many people in this world, right? Some people are made to be able to connect with other people and they just won't take that first step. So take the first step, right? Getting to know yourself first, healing working on healing and then stepping out into the world presenting yourself to the world and i guarantee you people will gravitate towards you and you towards them all right like subscribe and share and i'll see you real soon peace